This is the vest law clinic building. This building houses your supervisors, candidate legal practitioners, and admin support staff. Our admin support staff and legal secretaries are the vital part of our machinery. Without them, everything will come to a full stop. So whenever you ask them to do something for you, remember the six golden rules. Identify, smile, do not rush, write clearly, give clear instructions, and last but not least, do not forget to say thank you. This is the photocopy room. This is where the administrative tasks are completed. As you can see on my left hand side, we have the fax machine. Let me demonstrate how you use the fax machine. The first thing that you will need is the dialing code, but before you press the dialing code, you have to press zero, then the dialing code. For instance, if the number is 012, you'll press zero, then 012. Then what you do is you take the document facing away from you, in other words, facing the wall, and put it inside the fax machine. You then press the green button, which is the send button. After you've done that, you have to wait for the transmission report. The transmission report will either be successful or error. If it is successful, then it is fine. If it's an error, then you'll have to resend the document. There is a telephone in the photocopying room. In order to make a phone call, you will need to make a request in a book with Wendy, who will put the call through to the photocopying room. The next time the phone rings, you will have to pick it up. Behind me, as you can see, are the baskets for your candidate legal practitioners as well as your supervisors. Should you need to leave something for your supervisor or candidate legal practitioner, you can leave them in these baskets. We also have two photocopying machines in the photocopying room. There is a code to be entered in order to do any photocopying. Please select a username for your unit, then enter the password. A list will be placed on Uluazi. Please note that you must enter a username and password on the keypad of the photocopying machine in order to do any photocopying. Please note photocopying may only be done by placing the papers onto the feeder tray on top of the photocopying machine. If the documents are too small or are too delicate to fit through the feeder, you can photocopy these pages by lifting up the cover and by placing the document in the allocated space on the glass on the photocopier. If the document is very small in nature, you can make an A4 copy by placing a blank page over the document on the allocated space on the glass of the photocopier in order to make the A4 copy. Please ensure that all documents are returned to client. Please be careful when handling and copying client's documents. The photocopy machine may not be used for any private photocopying under any circumstances. If you are caught photocopying anything not related to clinic work, you will be required to pay a fine. Please also be aware of whether or not the document is double-sided. If so, you need to photocopy both sides of the document. We also have the dog cakes basket. The first law clinic uses dog cakes, which we find very useful in communicating with other attorneys, advocates, or exchanging pleadings and notices. Kindly note that the dog is not 100% and cannot be held liable for any errors. So if you have a matter which is about to prescribe, I will recommend that you do not use DOCX. But in any other circumstances, it is way advisable to use DOCX and save in different administrative fees. Another item of concern that you will find in the photocopying room are the file opening folders. Each unit has its color. The blue is for delict. The pink is for refugee. Green is for labor. Yellow is for family. Beige is for general, and orange is for property. Also, you will find the file closing certificates which are located here, as well as the envelopes. Now, you have to understand that you never use the envelopes unless your supervisor strictly instructed you to do so. We also have a files to be closed shelf. Files that should be closed will be placed here. Only once you have completed a file closing certificate and upon your supervisor's instructions. We also have the files to be diarized shelf. All the files that need to be diarized should be kept in this shelf with the diarizing date. Then also, you will find that there's a letters to be posted tray, which is used for letters which are going to be posted and thus the address of the client must be inserted on the left-hand side of your letter. No envelope is required. You just place the letter in the basket. There is also a letters to be collected tray in the photocopying room. If any letters need to be collected by your client, the letter will have to be placed in this tray. Please let Wendy know 
if a client is attending the office to collect a letter which you have placed in the letters to be collected basket outside of a clinic times. Staples, split pins, punch are also located here. Please do not remove these items from the room. Also, do not use the heavy duty stapler unless it is really a thick document. Office 5 is the filing room. This is where all the diarist files are kept. The vest law clinic keeps separate files for each client. This means that all the documents pertaining to that client's matter will be kept in that particular file. In addition to that, we also have documents which are used to open client's files as well as sending briefs to advocates. These are the duplicates of the documents that were shown at the Felicia Kendridge Annex. The first person we will encounter at reception is our receptionist, Ms. Wendy Mia. Wendy will assist you with making telephone calls during and outside of your clinic consultation time after you have written your request in the call book. She will also assist you in sending SMSs to your clients, but you need to draft the SMS for her. Should you have any general question, you can still ask Wendy. These telephone calls may only be used in relation to clinic work. Private use of the telephones will be severely punished. Every month, the clinic gets a detailed list of all the calls made from each telephone in the clinic. Unauthorized calls will be traced and the culprit will be dealt with. At Office 2, you will find our Miss Zainab Shahabuddin. Zainab is our admin assistant. She is responsible for opening and allocating file numbers, diarizing files, and will assist in payment of sheriff's returns of service. At Office 3, you will find our Miss Olga Munne. Olga is the legal secretary for the family, delict, and general units. Should you need assistance with printing letters on a letterhead or formatting, you send your documents to Olga who will assist you with that. At Office 11, you will find our Ms. Widumelo Silepe. Tumi is the legal secretary for the labor, property, and refugee units. Should you need assistance with printing letters on a letterhead or formatting, you send your documents to Tumi who will assist you with that. Office 109 at the first floor is where you will find Lee De Villiers. Lee is our office manager. If you need to pay a sheriff or an advocate, the invoices are given to and paid by Lee. A copy of the invoice is placed in the file and a copy is also given to Lee. If you are in the property unit, Lee will also assist you with doing a deed search. Bathrooms are located at the first floor. At the far east, that's where you will find the male bathroom. And at the far west, you will find the ladies' bathroom. These bathrooms are to strictly be used by staff and students. Should the client require a bathroom, you are requested to direct them to the School of Law. Room 210 is the student boardroom. This is where you will sit if you have to work on your files. Kindly note that at this room, there can only be a maximum of five people at a time. Room 206 is where the student boardroom is. Kindly note that a maximum of 10 people are allowed at this boardroom. Also, this is where your baskets are kept. And this is where the client's file will be kept. Students who do not have a basket must notify Zainab immediately. Kindly note that client's files are to be maintained and properly kept and kept safe. Also, you are not allowed to take files home under any circumstance. You must also ensure that your files are stored according to the unit that you are allocated in. This concludes your tour of the Witz Law Clinic and Felicia Kentridge Annex. If should you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to speak to your supervisor. We wish you all the best for the coming year and good luck.